this question um, rises up because several data show us controversial um, implications about the nature of headaches we are seeing, we are observing in patients after COVID-19 um, infection or post-COVID-19 vaccination because we are, we are observing exactly the same headache features in both situations. So um, the question was, um, is this um, a new headache related to inflammation or even more related to that particular virus? Um, or is just um, a case of migraine or tension time headache, uh, which is worsening after the inflammation? So there are two cases. And we may see both cases in, uh, um, in all those uh, uh, patients suffering from headaches after uh, COVID uh, um, infection or after COVID vaccination. In some of them, we have a short lasting up to uh, 15 days uh, headache, which is strongly related to the inflammation and to the cytokines released by the inflammation caused by the uh, virus. And in uh, another proportion of patients, around 20%, we have a headache that persists more than 30 days. Um, and that's the case of long COVID um, uh, syndrome, where headaches is most likely uh, a tension type or a migraine-like headache in a, in a patient uh, with pro-existing pro headaches. So there are several studies investigating the, um, first of all, the prevalence of headache uh, within the context of inflammation, the prevalence of headache uh, uh, in long COVID uh, syndrome, the, the clinical natural history of, of headache uh, in, uh, in the context of long uh, COVID syndrome, as well as uh, several uh, uh, studies investigated the, um, uh, uh, the, the pathogenesis by measuring particular cytokines. And they found that, that during the inflammation, those patients that were suffering from headache, they had increased uh, some particular cytokines, uh, uh, which caused the, um, the worsening or the de novo headache. So we have some studies indicating that uh, indeed the headache is strongly related to cytokines when exists within the context of inflammation. And we also have some studies presenting data convincing that those features they are seeing in those patients, they are experiencing long lasting headaches are migraine like or tension type like indicating that they, they are do sharing the genome for migraine of tension type today.